I feel that um that it was wrong for them to shoot Amadou Diallo 41 times. It was very wrong. They shouldn't have did that. I mean, he was just putting out a wallet out of his pocket. It, you know, I don't, I don't feel that that was right. And the guy that, you know, in the Bronx, they said that he had, um, you know, crack and stuff. That wasn't right either. That they killed him. You have Anthony Byers, you have Amadou Diallo, you have Mike, uh, Malcolm Ferguson, you have Patrick Dawesman. I mean, there's, I, I feel that they, there's more brothers getting killed out there that we don't even know about. At 4.30 in the afternoon, police officers, uh, they dragged me off of the J train on Myrtle Avenue and Broadway, and they put handcuffs on me for no reason at all. I was not under arrest. And then what they did was, what Officer Appel did was, he came, he took me to the edge of the, of the top of the stairs and he pushed me all the way down as I was handcuffed. And then when I hit the ground, he tried to still pick me up. He took me to the door where the turn stop is and he kept assaulting me in front of many witnesses. Understand? And then he put me, and then he unlawfully imprisoned me and charged me with false allegations. So I feel something should be done. police forces around this country with 80,000 police brutality cases reported each year they are one of the most violent gangs in this country but one of the most violent people are uh, organizing to fight back against the uh, powers that be and how do I propose to do that through firepower through arming ourselves in order to fight back against these powers that be abusing us on a daily basis I feel that's the only way to do that is to stockpiling certain weapons arming ourselves and defending ourselves before we get fucked up. The only way that we can solve this problem is total to 2,000, not 100%, 2,000% reform of the whole police, the New York City, any United States, the Fraternal Order Police, a whole reform of the system, because the system is corrupt. It's not these, it's not these, these little, these pigs on the streets. It's not, it's not, it's not exactly their fault. It's the sergeants, it's the lieutenants, it's the, it's the mayors, the governors, the presidents. It's not. You cannot say. You can't focus on these, these individuals. They know nothing. They follow, it's like, they follow the orders of the higher, of the higher command. And as a result of the higher command, we suffer. We need to preserve the, the, the spirits of Malcolm X. We need to preserve the spirits of Martin Luther King, of Stokely Carmichael, of the Young Lords, um, of the Black Panthers. And we need to follow their footsteps. We, we can't just... Um, wait for politicians to do it for us we cannot you know we need to talk we need to shout we need to to stand in front of city hall and and knock on their doors and tell them listen this is what we want um that's what we need to do and unfortunately a lot of us don't do it